Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at NASM from Not Too Shabby. Okay, really quick, I just got this in today. I got the Evic VT, that's the 60 watt. See what I'm rocking it at right there. This is a 0.25 ohm coil, but it's reading at 0.21. I've got it all the way at 60 watts maximum. And this is a Canthal build. It's like eight wraps of Canthal around a 332nd screwdriver. And then I've got the Wotopo Addy 3. I don't know what that is right there that's in the paint but i'll have a review coming up on this i haven't used it in temp control mode yet but i'll get to all that later on that's the little setup that i just got in today so that's pretty cool i got this along with this little setup right here and this is nasm from not too shabby so i know everyone is pretty familiar with strawberry and cream milk flavors but didn't it always seem like something was missing well guess what this is not another strawberry milk we've decided to actually allow you to taste the strawberry on this one one vape and your life will be changed for the better so this is a 20 pg 80 vg liquid and this is a 30 mil and it costs 22 bucks over on e -Ciggity. you see it this has the old logo on it i think that uh twist is going to be changing these up so as you can see right there obviously nasm stands for not another strawberry milk so this is supposed to taste like strawberry milk so there goes the warnings and all that then i have this in three milligram so the labeling is really nice and one of the best things I think about this bottle is right here you see you got a safety seal. So when you first open this it breaks that little seal right there, this section. And I really like these new dripper tops that he's using on these bottles. So the labeling and the bottles and the child safety caps and all that, all the packaging is really nice on these. Now the juice itself, I always like to taste it so I'll put a pretty decent sized drop on my finger. immediately what I get from this is Capella Sweet Strawberry. I don't know if anybody else that buys this e-liquid is going to agree with that or not, but I make DIY about 99.9% .9 of the time. In fact, this e-juice right here is the first one I've bought since January 2015. And it's like the middle of June 2015 right now. The strawberry that's being used absolutely tastes like Capella Sweet Strawberry, hands down. Strawberry happens to be my favorite flavoring, and I've tasted pretty much every strawberry on the market, at least from all the, the big name flavor companies. I've tasted pretty much everything when it comes to strawberry. The cream or milk flavoring that's in this, I don't really get any of that. What I get from this e-liquid, like I said, in my personal opinion, it's just my opinion, this Capella Sweet Strawberry. That's what I get. You guys all know that I very rarely ever do e-juice reviews. I just don't like them. There's not very many views on them and all that kind of stuff. So I pretty much try to avoid them like the plague. But when I come across one that's pretty popular and, you know, I spend $22 for it, normally if I don't like it, I won't even review it. So there's a lot of e-juice that I've tried that I've been sent that I never liked. But I simply didn't review it because I didn't want to give a negative review. Now this one here, I paid $22 for this. Keep in mind, okay? And, and as far as I'm concerned, $22 is ridiculous for 30 mils of e-liquid. I just do. I'm sorry, but that's just the way I feel about it. I know a lot of people out there make their own extracts and all that kind of stuff, but... I would just about guarantee that this has Capella Sweet Strawberry in it. It's nothing against the Not Too Shabby line. It's just that this juice, to me, is not very original. It tastes like when you mix Capella at about 5%, so it doesn't even have very much flavoring in it at all. Now, it does have better flavor in the Tugboat V2, but that's because the way the Tugboat V2 is made and the way that it condenses the vapor, as opposed to this thing here, which is like wide open. So you're not getting as much flavor for this. This is more or less like a, a cloud chase and RDA. And that's in my personal opinion. The Tugboat V2, this is the one that you use to get killer flavor. So it's going to produce the best flavor, I think, that this juice has to offer. It has a decent flavor to it. It's just very light. It's too light for my taste. Like I said before, I make DIY all the time. So I like my flavoring really strong. 
Now, a lot of you out there may not feel the same way about that. You may like your flavor subtle. But to me, an all-day vape is something that I can actually taste. And this right here, for example, basically a strawberries and cream that I made yesterday. And you can see what it has left in it. This bottle was completely full. It was a 30 mil. I mean, the labeling is awesome. I give credit for that. It's really nice. And the bottles are nice and all that stuff. And those are all a plus. But what it's really about is the liquid inside and the liquid inside here to me just doesn't have any flavor the only flavor that I do get like I said before is Capella sweet strawberry that's exactly what it tastes like to me and it tastes like Capella sweet strawberry mixed at about five percent maybe six percent it's extremely light so you're not getting very much flavor out of it at all now some of you out there have seen me give away recipes and stuff on like Fresh's live show and all that kind of stuff. And I even have some recipes up on eliquidrecipes.com. But I also keep recipes that I have for my own personal use that I use every day. I don't give those recipes out. Sorry, guys, but I just don't. I give out recipes that I like and that I find on the internet and stuff like that. And that some of them I tweak, at least for my taste, I'll tweak them to make them taste the way I like. But the recipes that I make for myself, such as this right here, I don't give those recipes out because maybe somewhere down the road I might want to do an e-juice line, but I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided on if I want to get involved in all that mess, but maybe we'll find out one day down the road. All I do know is that I'm probably not going to be buying any more pre-made e-liquid. I just don't see the point of paying $22 for a 30 ml bottle of e-juice. And then when I get it, I don't like it. Something's wrong with it. It doesn't have enough flavoring or it has too much flavoring or it tastes weird. So I just, I'm a DIYer all the way, you guys. And that's just the way it is, man. Nothing against anybody that makes their own juice. And I'm sure a lot of people out there will probably love this juice. For me as a DIYer, I'm not impressed by it and therefore I won't be buying any more of it. That's pretty much what I got. I just kind of wanted to show you guys, give you a first impression of my Evic 60 watt here, the VT 60 watt with the Watopo Addy 3 on top. I think it's a pretty sexy looking setup. I like it. This has a 5,000 milliamp battery inside and you charge it right here. And this came fully charged. You can see I've been using it quite a bit here and so far i'm not really impressed by this atomizer but we'll get to that later on in a review and then the review for this evic will be coming up here pretty soon as well and i am impressed by this so far i like the uh the button that's on it the menu is really nice it's real small and compact and I really like that. I can definitely see this device right here going with me when I take off and roll out of the house and all that stuff, man. So look for the review for that coming up here pretty soon. Sorry I was kind of negative on NASM e-liquid here, but you know, it is what it is, man. You like what you like and you don't like what you don't like, you know? And I just don't like it. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I got for you. Until next time, take care and happy vaping.